master purpose. This was the target practice range for Capone and the boys. And during that time, what better weapon to hit what you were aiming at than this one, the Thompson submachine gun. Most civilians call it the Tommy gun. The mob called it the typewriter. And as you know, with it, they wrote a bloody tale of terror. If the Colt was the weapon that won the West, they say this was the weapon that made the 20s roar. With me now are two experts on the Thompson submachine gun specifically and weapons. Come on in, guys. Here's Sherman Tarnoff and Bill Dambra. Why was the weapon so popular with the mob? Well, it was so popular because it was probably the first weapon designed for automatic fire. It was designed by uh, Colonel Thompson during the First World War. Uh, the main reason was the fact that it was a type of a trench war and that it was impossible to fire at many troops at one time. So the gun was actually developed and its original name was called the Trench Broom. The Trench Broom, how appropriate. Why did the mob like it? Because it had a tremendously high rate of fire. It had a devastating effect when hitting uh, people. But what about accuracy? It was tremendously accurate, a very accurate weapon at close ranges. I've shot most modern weapons. I haven't used this one yet. Uh, is it difficult to fire? No, it's a very easy weapon to fire. It has very little rise. It is extremely accurate and it's very comfortable to shoot. Okay, why don't we, uh, why don't we demonstrate that? You can walk me through it. We'll show the, uh, the rate of fire and the accuracy of the Thompson submachine gun. Okay. We've set up some targets. Why don't you load her up and show me how to use it? Okay. What's her caliber? It's a 45 caliber automatic pistol round. Is this exactly the same gun used in the St. John Hunts and Massacre? Exactly. Weapon loaded? Weapon's loaded and it's on safe. She's on safe. Okay, I'm gonna mark it. Any special instructions? Just lean into it. Okay, safety's coming off. Safety's off. Weapon's hot. Down range, ready. They also use this thing with the stock off, and they? Yes, they did. It comes off real simply, just like Why? that. Why? What's the reason for that? The reason they took the stock off was so that they could go out the window of a car, uh -huh. and it would be convenient. That way it wouldn't get in their way. I see. Now, one point I want to make very clearly right now, this is live ammunition. It's not like the cop shows you see on TV, not like the police dramas where they use squibs or blanks. This is the real stuff. 45 real stuff. caliber, hot ammunition. Okay, now you just fire Safety's it like a pistol. On. Then. Safety's pistol. on. She's hot. Downrange. Okay. Ready to go. Ready to go. Okay, let's see what happens to Aristotle. So I just watch my burst and aim by the watch burst. Watch your burst where it's going. The mystery of Al Capone's vaults will continue after these messages. Just a few miles west of downtown Chicago and the Lexington Hotel lies Cicero. In 1923, the year the Chicago Crime Commission named Al Capone public enemy number one, Cicero was a quiet middle-class suburb, but that didn't last for long. 